back to my channel now today i'll be sharing with you how i made this super soft lemon and cardamom mandazis they were so delicious and they were soft even after three days now let's get started now for my ingredients i have four cups of flour which is about 500 grams one cup of milk one tablespoon of yeast a quarter cup of sugar which is about 25 grams i also have one teaspoon of cardamom powder four tablespoons of margarine you can use uh, two tablespoons of oil if you don't want to use margarine and i have oil for frying and also i have my lemon zest which was basically around three lemons that i've grated now we'll start by proofing our yeast so i've added the cardamom and yeast into my milk and mix it all together now i wanted to give you a uh, other alternative if you don't want to use um yeast you can just use all-purpose flour and uh, just proceed and skip this step but um, i just wanted uh, there's a difference when you use yeast on your mandazis they just have this nice um rise to them so that's why today i just wanted to use yeast but you can use baking powder with all-purpose flour and just skip uh proofing your yeast now next i'm going to mix all the dry ingredients together so that is the sugar flour and the lemon zest Then I went ahead to add my margarine and mix it well with the flour until it completely mixes well and dissolves. Once that is done, it's time to add the wet mixture into your dry ingredients. So just add it bits by bits as you mix. And it's not also too soft so you'll see the kind of dough that i'll be having at the end of this now as you can see my dough is really soft and it's also not sticking on my hands so we will let it rest for an about an hour so just take your bowl, add a little bit of oil and uh, brush it so that uh, when the dough rises, it, it does not stick at the sides. Now, if you used baking powder or all-purpose flour and skipped the yeast part, then you can let your dough rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now this is after an hour my dough has um, risen it's also really soft as you can see and this is what you want and now I'm just going to proceed to just knead it a little bit and uh, roll it to 
cut into the, my desired shapes. If you want your mandazis to be a bit thicker on the inside, meaty, then you can make them a little bit thicker. I wanted mine with a, a little bit hollow on the inside, so that's why it's a little bit thin. So it all it's all uh, about your preference. Line your bowl with your paper towel just to soak any excess oil that will be coming from your mandazi. We will be making our mandazis on medium high heat. So this is my oil. A quick test or a tip that I will give you. You can take a wooden spoon and put in your oil. And when you see the bubbles coming around it, then, then it means that your oil is ready and you can fry your mandazis. So put your mandazis, turn them and let them cook until they are golden brown. Make sure that your heat is not too high so that your mandazis don't to burn and here you can see the mandazis how beautiful they are they were so soft you can see even as i tear it apart it tears so easily and that hollowness on the inside is what i was looking for as well so that's why i even decided to use some yeast and uh, it is super soft it smells absolutely delicious especially from the cardamom which i would highly recommend that you be using in your mandazis and i really hope you do try this recipe and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i will see you on my next one till next time bye bye